Happy Thursday, Attitude Nation salute. Uh, episode four here on the yellow chair weightlifting. Sorry, my voice is half gone. I'm sweaty, I'm chalky, um, still in the clothes I was training in earlier today. Um, actually went back, hit a, a second squat session. Good day of training, hope you guys had a good day as well. Before we get into the technique portion of the video uh, for the main topic, let's do an accountability check. And I wanna start doing these I just made a post on Instagram, follow me at Attitude Nation, uh, or add me as a friend on Facebook there. But I wrote a paragraph, you know, calling myself out, calling you out, calling everybody out, saying, hey, we can train harder. Uh, I know I can, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the mission going into, into training is to train as hard as we can. And I have to ask myself, am I training as hard as I can? I am trying to, I'm giving it everything I have. You know, back in the day throughout my professional career, I look back and say, wow, I was training way harder, way longer, uh, and more often, of course, than I am now. Uh, yes, I did not have three kids and did not have a full-time coaching career, etc. So yes, things were different back then, but still, I feel like I can step it up. I feel like I could push harder. Um, and so, you know, when I'm, when I have something inside of me that I want to yell to the world, the first thing that I do is take a mirror and put it up to my face. And before I yell on top of a mountain, I want to make sure that I'm holding myself accountable, that I'm walking the walk, not just talking the talk. You know, you have to have dirt under your fingernails. And I want to keep my fingernails nice and dirty. Uh, I call it street weightlifting, uh, which I really want to do a whole different show on, to be honest, so I won't go down that rabbit hole. But um, I want to make sure that I'm in the streets, that I'm grinding, that I'm, I'm, I'm fighting, I'm scraping, I'm putting in the work, I'm living the life. Not just coaching it, not just talking about it here on YouTube, but that I'm living it. I'm in the dark, I'm in the suck, I'm in the trenches and I'm with you guys 100%. So really, I'm talking to myself right now, right now. John North, train harder. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, okay, today I had percentage work. How do I train harder if I have percentage work? If I hit all my percentages, how do I train harder than that? That's a good question. Today, we had a lot of percentage work. Uh, I think the only thing we had today was max effort on the no-no power clean, but the, the no-no power snatches, the rack jerks, the back squat, all the warm-ups, everything, we had percentage work. Now, here's how you train as hard as you can on percentage work. A few things. A, small jumps, get that work in, working up to the percentages, work on speed, move as fast as you can, move as aggressively as you can. Contact hard in the pen lay one, move your feet, get in front of that bar in the lock. Um, break a sweat, get after it, okay? So, you know, we always think about that top set in the percentage. Strength is built going from barbell to that top set, okay? That's the body of your work, okay? When you're done with training, you should sit back and say, how many kilos did I accumulate from the minute I touch the bar for training till when I finish? That's the question, not did I just hit my percentages? How much weight did I actually lift as a bulk in the full training session? That's why I'm a big, um, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in small jumps, little rest, get that work in. So if you're taking some bigger jumps, slow it down, get some more work in on the, on the grind there. The second thing that you could do, okay? Wave, work up, hit that percentage, Go back down to the bar or you know, 40, 50 kilos and work back up, maybe taking some bigger jumps. Work back up, hit that percentage again. Does it say in your program to only hit that percentage once? One times one at 80%, let's say. Okay, great. Well, I'm just gonna do the workout again. I'm gonna work all the way back up and hit it again, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if your coach has a problem with that, get a different coach. The more you train, the better you get. The harder you work, the more gold medals you're going to achieve. There's no such thing as overtraining, it's under recovery. If you have anybody holding you back from going on a different wave or hitting it again for maybe two singles uh, or taking smaller jumps to get more work in, that's a problem in my eyes. 
I guess that's my personal opinion. If I have an athlete who wants to put in more work, we're gonna get after it, we're gonna do it. I mean, I train pretty hard right now, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I am trying to train as hard as I can per day, but I, I can be pushing it harder. You know, I mean, I'm training what, hour and a half per day? I train from sun up to sun down, seven days a week, well, six days a week, um, every single week back in the day as a professional weightlifter. So it can be done. We need to stop putting limits on ourselves and you know, surrounding ourselves with people that might be holding us back. Are you around people that are holding you back? Are you around someone telling you that's enough? Move on, that's good for the day? No, don't get an extra squat workout in. Don't wave up again for a second or third time. To me, that's a problem. You need people that are gonna be the wind at your sail. They're gonna to continue to raise the bar higher and higher on you every single day, every single week, pushing you, motivating you. Um, I think that is extremely important and I think that is lacking in the sport of weightlifting. We can do more, myself and you, as a community of weightlifters. So let's do that. So we have smaller jumps, we have hit the waves, okay? We even have hit that percentage maybe a few extra times. And then we have the Penlay method for the fourth one, or for the, I lost count now, third one, and that is throw some gas on the fire, roast some marshmallows. If you're feeling hot, take that 80%, go up to 90%. Same thing applies. If you have somebody saying no to that, to me that's a problem, okay? If you disagree with this video, I apologize. But, you know, this is street weightlifting, okay? You're gonna get what I've done, what I've been through, how I achieved my success, how my athletes achieved their success, and what we do on Team Attitude Nation. I'm not talking from a book. This is not some level one, two, three, four, five speech. This is street weightlifting, what I've done in my 20 year career. And if the fire's hot, we're roasting marshmallows. If that 80% felt good and you got good night's sleep last night, you ate two large pizzas, you got your stretching in, and you're feeling hot and you're in a good mood, let's go 85%, let's go 90%, let's double wave it up. You know, let's get that work in. And so that's just one exercise, moving on to the next. Okay, so that's, those are three, four examples right there on how you can train the percentage program as hard as you can, okay? Also, then we bring in extra squats, double day. You know, a lot of, a lot of, the, a lot of the sessions back in the day, let me make this clear, when I say that we train all day, you gotta remember we are clean athletes. Uh, as a professional, I mean, I'm still clean, of course, but back in the day, clean athletes in America, a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot of, but some of the training was speed work, okay? Position work, volume, uh, um, uh, percentage battles that we have all the time back in the day at Cal Strength. It wasn't always lift to max, heavy, heavy, heavy. Did we lift to max and did we go heavy every single day? 1,000%. There was never a day in my career as a professional weightlifter where we didn't max out or go heavy. That's the Penlay method, okay? But there was a portion of the day where we, we were working speed. We were working high volume squats. We were getting after in that aspect. And there's nothing wrong with going in and getting some of that speed work in to add to your training per day. So stretching even, bar work, technique work, position work, yoga, all of that is training, okay? So if you wanna push the training even harder than you're doing now, these are all things that we could be doing, okay? Also, another thing that you could be doing to add to your training as far as making it as hard as possible per day on a percentage-based workout is, or any workout really, even if it's max effort, and I know two minutes, two minutes, I'm going too long here, is pauses, okay? Uh, pause, the, pause everything, pause everything. And what I mean by that, in the catch of the snatch, sit down there for five seconds before you stand up. There's no rule against standing up right away, all right? We like to, we like to take the sport of weightlifting and we like to make them exercises. Think about that, right? No hook, no feet snatches. Oh, that's a tough exercise, that's tough. Oh, it's fun, it's cool, I love it, it mixes it up, it's challenging. I agree, no-nos no are my, one of my favorite exercises in weightlifting, but you could do a no-no on the Olympic stage and win a gold medal. A no-no snatch is just a snatch. 
period. A pause in the depth in the snatch for five seconds is a snatch. So what we can do is we can push ourselves by doing little things like this. So when you catch a snatch in the bottom, sit down there for five seconds and then stand up. It doesn't always have to say it on the program. It doesn't have to say, hey, pause in the depth for three seconds for you to do that. Take your program and push the program. Work the program, okay? Don't let the program chain you to what you're capable of doing to, 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 the, to the platform. I mean, I think a lot of times athletes have a program and it, it almost turns into more of a ball and chain, okay? Don't let the program run you. You run the program is what I'm saying, okay? So pause the depth. Pause the catches, okay? Those are another thing that you could do that's gonna help tremendously, okay? Um, gosh, I was gonna go into a, the whole topic of this episode was gonna be the overhead catch position in the snatch. Uh, and that's definitely not gonna happen now. We're, we're over time. So my slight accountability speech turned into the whole episode, but it went different places than I had planned. That's what's fun about these yellow chair weightlifting episodes though is I get just to sit here with you guys and just talk, just talk weightlifting. And sometimes they'll go in different directions than I had planned and they're authentic. It's not like I'm sitting here editing the video. Literally, I shoot this and then I just upload it right to YouTube. That's it, there's no editing, as you guys can see. Um, so next episode, we'll talk about the triangle catch in the snatch, all about the overhead catch position uh, in the snatch, which you guys know my style of technique. You guys know how I catch the snatch. I want to talk all about that, help you guys out with that position and go from there. But hey, let's train harder. Can we, can we come together, me and you, including myself, and push it harder per day? It's not about comfort. It's not about feeling good. Donnie Schenkel once told me, the hardest part of weightlifting is learning how to train. That has nothing to do with the program, nothing. We need to teach our bodies and our mind how to train. That is the secret sauce right there, nothing else. Okay, like Coach Penlay used to say, you could be on the best program in the world, but if you don't believe in it, you're not gonna succeed. Or you could be on the worst program in the world, but if you believe in it, you will succeed. So me and you, let's stick together. Let's push, let's fight, let's lift big weight, and let's go above and beyond what they say we can do, including ourselves. Stop putting limits on yourself. Stop, as Donnie Shankle says. Do not let anybody put a limit on you. Let's fly to the moon. Join me, go to dowaylifting.com. Sign up for my team. I'd love to be your coach. We'll get you on the private Facebook page. We'll get you on the Zoom link. We'll get you on the email chain. I'll call you and we'll go over your numbers, your goals, your meets, what you're looking to achieve in this sport. We will work together to achieve your goals and beyond. So sign up today, GWL as well, dowaylifting.com. Attitude Nation salute. We'll see you guys tomorrow for Big Friday. Salute.